Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. Today, I want to talk with you about a quite an advanced topic. In fact, I want to explain to you how you can use Microsoft Graph to register an application in Azure Active Directory and to grant the permissions needed by the application that you just registered. In order to do that, you simply need to, first of all, register a kind of a master application, which will have proper permissions to register other applications in your Active Directory tenant. And of course, it could be even a multi-tenant application. Once you have registered that master application, you can use it to register any other application in Azure Active Directory and to grant the permissions to the registered apps using just the Microsoft Graph APIs. So let me switch to the demo environment and let me show you how you can do that in practice. So like usual, first of all, let's have a look at the APIs that we are going to use. We will first of all use the Create Application API, which is available in Microsoft Graph V1, and you simply need to make a post to the Applications Endpoint, providing the JSON description of an app that you want to register. And you will get back the JSON description of the whole application that was registered for you on Azure Active Directory. Once you have registered an application, you will also have an application ID, which is the client ID of the application that you are creating, and you can use the Create Service Application Endpoint, which is simply based on the service principles uh, collection, and you can make just a post uh, to provide another JSON with the ID of the app that you want to promote uh, as a service principle. Once you have done that, you can then use the O2 permission grant endpoint uh, to make a post to the collection of permission grants of open authorization and providing the information about the app uh, for which you want to do the grant. So the ID, unique ID of the service principle of the app, uh, the type of the consent, uh, the principal ID if it is a consent for a specific user and not for all of the principals in your tenant, uh, the resource ID of the service principal that you want to grant the permission for, and the scopes of the permissions that you want to grant. Here I have an application that I already registered in Azure Active Directory, and this application is configured from an API permissions point of view in order to have the application.readwrite.all permission as well as the directory.readwrite.all permissions plus the user.read, just for the sake of signing in a user in case of need. But we will just use the application-only token and we will use these two permissions in our application. So, using MSAL, so the Microsoft Authentication Library, which I added to my project using NuGet, max.identity.client is the uh, um, package that you need to import in your solution, I create a confidential client application builder and I provide the settings for my application, so the master application, the client ID, the authority and the secret for my app, so that I will be able to get an access token, to acquire an access token for app only for the default permission scopes for Graph meaning the permissions that I just showed you. So these two permissions for application access only uh, token. Then once I have the access token, I can create an HTTP client object and I can start uh, creating the application, the service application and the uh, permission grant. So first of all, I have to make a post to the collection of applications. I have to provide the access token in the bearer uh, value of the authorization header, and I have to define an object, which will be an object made by a display name for the app that I'm going to register, as well as uh, the uh, collection of required resource access settings, which includes the settings for Microsoft Graph. This is the unique uh, ID of Microsoft Graph in any tenant. This is the globally multi-tenant ID for Microsoft Graph. And then I have to define the permissions that I want to have in my application. And specifically, I'm declaring that I want to have group read write all and user dot read. Both will be delegated permissions, as you can see from this setting, which is scope. So once I've done that, I simply make my HTTP request, and if the response is successful, I get back the JSON of the response, so that I can deserialize the response into an object, which will give me access to the application ID, as well as to all of the more important settings about the application that I just registered. Once you have done that, you can then create the service principle. So yet another HTTP request for the service principles collection in Microsoft Graph under V1 endpoint, so in GA. Then you prepare a request where you want to promote to a service principle the app that you just registered and you provide the app ID of that app and you make another request. As the result of this request, you will get back a service principle JSON object. The service principle will give you the ID, the internal ID 
of the service principal in your Azure Active Directory tenant, as well as the app ID of the application that you just registered. And again, using yet another, and the last one, yet another HTTP request, we make a post to the collection of O2 permission grants. We still provide the access token. In the body, we provide the Azure ID, unique ID of the service principal. We define that we want to grant uh, the permissions to all the principals in the tenant, otherwise you could target just a specific user, as like as when a single user make the consent for permissions that don't require a global tenant admin uh, grant. Then, if it will be a grant for a specific user, you will have to provide the ID of the principal of the user, otherwise you simply need to provide a null value for this property, and then you provide the resource ID of the target API, which is the ID of the service principal for Microsoft Graph, which you will have to retrieve either using Graph Explorer or maybe using still the Microsoft Graph in your source code. And then the permission scope that we want to grant as delegated permission scope for this application. We make the last HTTP request, we get back a JSON response, which will be the JSON representation of the result of our grant. Let me start the application, so run it. It will first of all register the application in Azure Active Directory so that if we wait, uh, and here is the console application that is working, if we wait for the output of the application, well, we can run to cursor right here and we can see on the console window that the ID of the application that we just registered. If I go to my portal.azure.com and I search in the app registrations for the application that I just uh, uh, created, I can see that I have an application with that application ID. And if I click on it, I go under API permission, I can see that I have the permissions assigned, but they're still pending the uh, admin grant. So let me go back to this application and let me run to cursor the application until we reach the end of uh, its uh, main uh, method so that we will have uh, the permission grant configured. If we look into this object, actually better to see it as a JSON uh, content, we can see that it has been registered a permission grant for group readwrite.all and user.read for the uh, app ID of the service principal for our application. And this is the ID of the permission grant that we just granted. So if I complete the execution of the application and I go back to portal.azure.com, we can refresh this page and we can see that now the permissions are granted. So, Basically, using a code-based approach and programmatically, we were able to register an application and grant the permissions, the delegated permissions for that application. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.